Use the Pythagorean theorem. Find the missing side length of the right triangles. Solve, show your works. If necessary, round your answer to the nearest hundredth. But don't forget the units. Okay. So this missing side length right account, it does not make up the right angle, which means it is the hypotenuse. Therefore, what we're going to do is we're going to take this leg right account, which is 24, and we're going to add it to this leg right account, 16, and we're going to square these. And this should equal the hypotenuse, which is usually represented by the letter C, and we will square at these. Now we got 24 squared and 16 squared. So that is what it, it, that's what these are squared. We're going to equal that to C squared. Now when we add both of these, we get uh, 800 and uh, about 32, right? Yeah. Is that what you said? Think about it. Thanks for agreeing with me. All right. This is squared. Uh, we don't want C squared. We just want C, right? So we got to do the inverse of square which is the square root, so we're going to square root 832. In my calculator, I can do that. 8 times the square root of 13. You will have to simplify these on the test, just like we did in the previous unit. Also, I mean, this one didn't give us units, but if you wanted to, you could label that in units, like that. All right, this one did say that the decimal is okay. So 28 point, did it say the tenth or the hundredth? So 8, 4 in units is, I guess, X. We used C, but it doesn't matter. That is the answer, Radicam. I would accept either answer, by the way. Both of those are good.